So we've built this uh, little game here where this mole, every little timer interval kind of jumps around the screen randomly. And then a player, if they touch the mole, gets a point or one is added to this score label right here, which starts out as zero. So if I click on that mole, oops, there you go. I get a point and I got three points there. So now let's make it so, a little more interesting, let's make it so if I miss the mole, I lose a point, and if I click on him, I get a point. So in other words, if I click here somewhere, I should, my score should go from three to two. Okay, to do that, we're gonna have to use an if statement. And a, an if is a conditional, so it says, instead of saying we're gonna do these blocks, it's like asking a question, or the app asks a question, and depending on the answer, does something different. So in other words, the app, when we click on the canvas, is going to ask a question and say, hey, when the canvas was clicked, were we touching the mole or not? Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my blocks and grab the canvas and the canvas touch. So notice before, we were only doing something on this mole sprite dot touched event. Okay, now instead what we're going to do is we're going to see if the whole canvas gets touched. Because that's a, a more general thing that we need to, to know. Okay, if the canvas is touched, let's take, a, take away a point. So what I'm going to do is just kind of steal this code up here. And if the canvas is touched, and these pluses are nice, you can grab that little arrow and turn it into a minus. But if the canvas is touched, I'm going to take away a point. Okay, let's see what happens. This is not exactly what we want, but this is a start. So if I click on the canvas over here, yeah, good, it took away a point. But let's see what happens when I click on the mole. Notice the score stays the same. And the problem is, both these events are getting triggered. The mole sprite dot touched event is getting triggered, which is adding a point. But even though I'm clicking on the mole, I'm also clicking on the kind of the underlying canvas, so it's taking away a point. So I'm no longer scoring a point when I when I touch the mole. Okay. So really, what I want to do is when the canvas is touched. If I touch the mole, get a point. If not, take away a point. So what I'm going to do is grab a if statement, actually an if else. Okay, you'll notice it's if else and a test, then do something, otherwise do something else. Okay, in this case, our test is pretty easy because when the canvas is touched, there's a little parameter here that tells you whether any image sprite in the canvas has been touched as well. So it'll tell you whether you've touched just the canvas directly, or there could be three or four sprites on here. If, if I've touched any of them, that parameter touch sprite is gonna be true. So my test is just gonna be, and I'm gonna to go to my blocks and my definitions. My test is just if touch sprite. That's either true or false. When this event gets triggered, App Inventor puts true or false in there for me, and I just gotta check that thing. And so what I'm gonna do is put that in there, and what I'm gonna do is, I'll just copy this for now, that we're gonna pause, I'll show you, we'll get rid of that in a second. But when the canvas is touched, if the sprite, the mole, was touched, give me a point, if it was not touched, take away a point. Okay, then I'm gonna go back up here and I'm just gonna get rid of this code here. In fact, we could get rid of this whole event handler, but I definitely do not wanna add an additional point because this part of the if statement, so if I've touched a sprite, is basically doing the same as when I had this mole sprite dot touched up here. Anyway, let's check it out. Let's see if this is gonna work for us. So right now, score is one, oh, back to zero. Negative one, not doing so well. But if I click on the mole, as you'll see, it is now 
giving me points. And if I click outside it, it takes it away. 